The Schrodinger equation is the backbone of quantum mechanics, just as Newton's laws are the backbone of classical physics. It is written as h hat psi equal to e psi, where h hat is the Hamiltonian, psi is the wave function, and e represents the energy value. Now let us open the Hamiltonian. The Hamiltonian simply represents the total energy of the system. It is written as H equals T plus V, where T is the kinetic energy operator and V is the potential energy operator. So just like in classical physics, total energy is the sum of kinetic and potential energy. Only here it is expressed in operator form. The kinetic energy operator is written as minus h bar squared over 2m times the Laplacian, which represents how the wave function curves in space. The potential energy operator on the other hand is simply the potential function V, like a box, a spring or the Coulomb interactions in hydrogen or any other atom. Together, this describes all the possible energies in a quantum system. Substituting the kinetic and potential energy operators into the Hamiltonian, Schrodinger's equation takes the expanded form. It reads minus h bar square over 2m multiplied by the Laplacian plus potential energy V all acting on psi equals E times psi. This is just the quantum version of the familiar statement total energy equals kinetic plus potential. And the key point is that the solutions are not continuous but quantized. That is why quantum mechanics does not give us a smooth continuum of energies. It gives quantized energy labels. In other words, atoms, molecules and nanostructures have discrete energy labels instead of a smooth spectrum. As a specific example for hydrogen, solving Schrodinger equation gives us the familiar atomic orbitals and their discrete energy states. The circles on the left here represent the Bohr model with principal quantum numbers n equals 1, 2, and 3. But quantum mechanics goes further. Instead of fixed paths, it predicts probability densities for electrons. The wave function square, that is the absolute value of psi square, gives us this probability distribution. On the right, you see two examples. The one s orbital, which is spherical, and the two p orbital which has a dumbbell shape. This is how quantum mechanics explains why electrons cannot orbit just anywhere. They can only occupy specific shells and orbitals. So, in short, the Schrodinger equation is a fundamental tool of quantum mechanics. It links the abstract wave function to measurable energies and it underlies our entire understanding of atoms, molecules and nanostructure.